I'm going to show you today how to connect your Motif XS to your computer through a crossover cable. Basically, what you're going to gain is the ability to load and save Motif XS files directly from your computer's hard disk. You will not need a USB device anymore. Most of you might have heard that this can be done through a network. That is, connect your Motif XS to the router and from the router to the PC. That definitely can be done but many of us do not have a uh, router in the same room as the Motif XS. In that case, we're going to have to connect directly to the computer using a crossover cable. I'm going to show you how it's done and it works 100% well. Before you get started, you want to make sure that you've got a network adapter, a crossover cable, which is not your standard network cable, and once you've got these two, then you can connect directly to your Motif XS Ethernet port. You're also going to have to create a shared file folder in one of your hard drives. To do that, create a folder, go to Sharing, and there select the two boxes within the blue circle. You're doing this in order for your Motif XS to have access to your computer. Another thing you're going to want to do is to uh, set up manually a uh, IP address in your local area connection. So find your local area connection, do a right click, go to properties, and once in properties, scroll down a bit, it might not be at first uh, viewable, and find internet protocol TCP IP. Go to properties, and once there, enter your IP address manually. If you've done this successfully, you'll get two types of messages, one in the lower right corner saying that you've successfully connected, and in the upper left you can see that your local area connection says that you are connected. Once you've finished up setting your computer, the next thing you want to do is uh, set up your Motif XS. Now wherever you are, press the utility button, and once inside utility mode you want to uh, select network under the tab uh, general. Now, as you can see, on the top left corner you have information about your uh, Motif XS. There is a host name, which is uh, basically the name of your Motif in the network. Under that, there's a description. I don't think that's of any big importance. It simply says what the device is. Uh, now, what I've done is I've turned off uh, the DHCP client so I can uh, enter uh, the information manually, which is the IP address, the uh, subnet mask, uh, and the gateway. Now, once you've uh, put in all the information you need there, uh, leave security uh, on workgroup. And for a domain, you want to enter your computer's name. You can find your computer's name if you go to Control Panel, System, Computer Name. So now press Enter. And after that, I would press also Store and Yes in order to save your settings to your Motif XS memory. If we've done everything correctly, we're basically set up to uh, save any file to our computer's hard disk. To find out if everything is OK, we press on File and we attempt to mount the uh, hard drive. As you see, I've already included my settings, but this should be blank for you. Where you can see the IP address host, you want to enter the IP address that we entered earlier in uh, local network connections. Once you do that and press enter, you'll immediately see that your um, shared file folder is going to show up. So if you go to um, the tab uh, file, you'll now be able to uh, save into that folder any file you want. So scroll down all the types of files, there are quite a bit, and uh, once you find the one you want, I would uh, save it maybe with a uh, date on it so you can remember when you made this uh, backup or uh, copy of uh, a file and uh, then you want to press on save if there's no option that means that it, you're not able to do that kind of a save uh, you can 
save only where you see a tab. And it, I've done a couple of saves already, so if you do those saves, you should be getting a file folder like the one you can see with all those types of uh, files in them.